G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're going to have another look at one of the backcountry cuisine fast nourishing food for adventurers. It's a beef and pasta hot pot. And single serving preparation add 250 millilitres or one cup of boiling water. Stir, stand for 10, at least 10 minutes. Okay, soy, beef, protein, stabilizers, blah, blah, blah. Pasta, spirals, blah, blah, blah. Energy, 1,674 kilojoules, 400 kcal. Protein, 20.3. Fat, 15.4. Saturated, 4.8. Carbs, 45.3. Sugar, 7.9. Sodium, 721. Uh, pull open base at corners, shake bag to lose some contents. There's a <laughs> Done that. Two, tear open bag at top from the tear notch. All right, let's make sure that's closed in there. Done that. Remove any sachets, add water stated on label below, stir meal thoroughly. Check for the sachets, can't see any. So, but first let's get the 250 ml of water, or just over 250 ml. We'll get that on the go. Here was a little bit wobbly, so I've got to be careful. Put the lid on. Now these things have come on over the years. I tried one only a couple of years ago and it was disgusting. But I've tried a couple of theirs already and they've tasted quite nice. And this one has got a best before date of September the 3rd, 2023. So a decent life shell. Uh, made in New Zealand from local and imported ingredients. Store in a cool place up to 25 degrees centigrade. Uh, Australian distributor is Sea to Summit Party Limited. Okay. Alright, I'll speed this up. I'll go and get my spoon and anything I need. And then I'll slow it back down to normal speed and I'll pour the water in and we'll go through a little bit more. Okay, we've made it to the boil. Let's get the bag open. Take the lid off. And I know the handles are going to be hot, so I'll grab it with a bit of tissue. There we go. And we'll pour that in. Give it a good stir. Make sure all the flavourings mixed in with the hot boiling water. You can see the sweet corn, you see the peas in there, you see bits of carrot already. You can see the chunks of meat. Can't see the pasta yet. Let's close it up and give it the 10 minutes, we'll check it. And as I normally do, I normally give it another three to five minutes, because that's how I like it. 
with these types of meals. Now I haven't just come out here to do this review, I've been out on the Bibbulmun track in the Australian bush now, this is three days and I've got one more day which is the 22 kilometer walk to my pickup point in dwelling up. So yeah, this, this is the third one I've had whilst I've been out here. No, this is the set. Uh, yeah, this is the third one I've had since I've been, was it? No, I did a review of another brand of meal, but this is the second one of the backcountry cuisine. And all depending on the weather, I might stop along the way, on the way home and the time. And I've got another one in my bag. So let's let the 10 minutes go. Then I'll speed the camera back up. I'll make a cup of tea while the sat carries on because we've got eight minutes left. Got my tea. Just one more minute, and we'll give it a stir and see if it's hydrated enough to eat and what it tastes like. So here. Yeah. Oh. Right. Oh. I can see the pasta now. Still got some of the flavouring down at the bottom there. Let's see if it needs any longer. bit longer. What they do on these ones now you got the top bit where you've got a nick taken out either side so you rip the top and pour your water in and when you come to eat it they've got another nick either side here so you can just tear across and use that as like a, a small bowl so you no longer need one of those long handle spoons you can get away with a little shorty that I carry <clears throat> yeah, I'll give it another four minutes and see if it's hydrated enough then Okay, that should do it. It's gone down low, Let's see if we can rescue it. Yeah, that'll do. There you go. A bit closer. The meat chunks or slices, the pasta, peas, sweet corn, carrot. Let's see if that extra few minutes has made a difference. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, peas are soft. Tastes good too, they do. The meat is just hydrated. You can actually chew it without any crunch. Sweet corn and carrots. Mm. They're very hydrated, good. Now, is it the best one I've tasted of theirs? No, it's not. It's okay, it is okay. Especially after walking, what we've done about 10 miles today, 16 kilometers. So my body needs it. Like I said to the others, would I recommend it? The only way I can say or answer that question is, would I have it again? I would. I'd probably bring some Tabasco with me and add that to it, make it a lot nicer. But as it stands, it's, it's an okay meal. Hmm, it is an okay meal. I'll, I'll bring it again. That was the main one, it'd be probably a backup one. Yeah. yeah. Right, I'm gonna carry on eating this. As you can see the sky is starting to get cloudy again and the forecast rain. And that'll carry on all night and all tomorrow they say, so I'll be getting a little bit wet on my way to be picked up tomorrow. So if you've enjoyed this video and you're not a subscriber yet, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of all future videos and click on the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.